Ooh, what's up guys? It's your boy OR and R Detailing News. And I'm back with another video. And uh guys this time we're gonna try something new, something different, something that you guys probably never thought of. Everybody out there doing ties and learn to come up with your own ideas. Alright? So the ideas I came up with. I ain't gonna say I'm the very, I'm not the very first guys to do this one, but this will probably blow your mind. Let's try some baby oil for the tires, man. We'll try it here on my new ride. Okay, let's try the baby oil with the microfiber pads right here. Okay, here we go, man. <laughs> Gonna put it up here like this on the cleaning pads. We're just gonna massage it into the tire. I don't know how good this stuff will work. It only costs two dollars. I know that much. And I got another thing coming up for you guys. Check that. The cleaning pads must pick these up, guys. It only costs a dollar. Check that out. That's the first coat. Two dollars baby oil, I mean. Hit it again. It's not messy at all. Doesn't even go all the way through the thing. See, here we go. Second coat. We'll get that time to kind of work in. Baby oil, boy. Baby oil. <laughs> that baby oil, man. <laughs> Why? <laughs> that baby oil with them cleaning, microfiber cleaning pads, man. Guys, about to get them. These things wipe good. They're great for doing tie dressing. They're so cheap. You don't worry about washing them out. Basically, see? And you can actually use one of them for interior, you know? But we're going to let that cook in for a minute. Okay, we're going to prop the cleaning pads up against the wheel and let them represent. Okay, now guys, I knew none of you guys probably never thought to shine your tires with baby oil. Some people use mineral oil, some people use olive oil. Okay, you can actually make your own tire dress. Guys, I got a separate video coming up on that. And this stuff works amazing. I mean, that's just two coats. Look at there. Two coats of baby oil. <laughs> now, you could just knock it down some if you wanted to be more of a matted look. Take a microfiber cloth and just knock right over. Knock the excess down. Those, those of you want that extremely wet look, you probably can apply maybe three or four coats. Now, like I said, this is just two. So what I'm going to do, like I'm saying, I'm going to let it get time to kind of penetrate, work itself down into the tire, and um, I'm going to apply the third coat for this one. Baby oil, man. I had to hit you guys with it, man. I just had to hit you guys with it. <laughs> We'll be trying more stuff like this, man. You got to think outside of the box. You can actually save money on tie dressings. I'm telling you. And this stuff, now we talking, it's still cooking in. It's shining. It's really it's still shining pretty good. Now, some people don't like that high shine like this. Like I said, just take a microfiber cloth and just knock it down. Knock the excess off. Give you more of a matte to a low gloss look. 
whatever you prefer, or you can just apply one coat, and it'll be good enough. You know, that's another good thing. But I'm telling you, man, you got to think outside the box. A lot of times you got to save you some money, now, especially when you're out there doing mobile detailing and stuff like that. This will be the way to go. Just pull the label off. This could be your secret tie dresser. I'm telling you. You don't really got to spend a lot of money in ties. It's 14 ounces. You don't have to spend a lot of money in tie dressers. You know. This is better. It's shine better than that chemical guys, man. Look at there. It's nice and black. It's basically dry to the touch. See, guys? It's dry to the touch, basically. See? Nothing there. See? It's dry to the touch. You just take your time and massage it into the tire. Now, if you want a screamly wet look, as long as I've been talking, we're going to go in it right now. We're going to hit it again with the third coat. Now, like I said, those of you who love the satin look or whatever, you could just hit it one time. And just keep massaging and use less product. You see, I'm applying it. Product it comes out pretty slow. Take your time. Okay. Two dollar baby oil. Now. Smell good too. That's applied. Here we go. It's gonna be hydrophobic. You know that for a fact. Rain water and stuff is not gonna be able to move this. Let's hit it. See what I mean? Just like that. It's a third coat. Like I said, you can take this. Well, is that shiny? It is really shiny. I'm gonna put the top on it. Okay, here we go. And man, that is shiny. That's three coats of baby oil. Okay, stand back, get a good view on it. <laughs> Boy, is that shining or what? <laughs> That's definitely worth a $2 shine. Just think. Just think now. Just think, guys. You can get a good screaming high shine with something, 14 ounces, something that costs $2. All you got to do is pull the label off. <laughs> If you're doing customer cars, this will work. It's going to be hydrophobic. It's going to repel at water. And um, you can save yourself a lot of money if you're out there doing mobile detailing. You know, get some of that baby oil. Get your couple bottles of that baby oil. You know, you probably put it on a sprayer too and spray it out like that. Take your microfiber applicator, wipe in the excess, or then you can knock it down with the microfiber cloth. Now, some people don't like the overly shining tires, you know, out there when you're doing mobile detailing and stuff. But, you can save yourself a lot of money this way. You really can. Check it out, guys. You got to think outside the box. You actually can come up with your own tire dressings. This is one for myself. I actually like the shine on this so good because uh, not only the shine that it gives, it makes the tire look so black looking. You know what I'm saying? It gives a deep black look. See how black that tire is, man? I mean, that tire is extremely black. You can compare the blackness of that tire compared to this one. See the difference? It give your tires an extremely black look. See? A screaming black look all at the same time. I really like this stuff. Something pushed me to try it. Now, you could add a little... Um, some people say you can add, like, this detergent to it. And something else. This detergent to this and something else. But anyway, I'm going to use my straight, straight baby oil. And uh, like I said, if you don't want it to shine as much, 
Just take your one of those pads, man, or even a microfiber cloth and just knock it down like this. And it still works great for interior. Just kind of massage it. See? Basically, all you know, you're massaging it into the tire like that. Just massage it. Put a little elbow grease to it, guys, and just massage it down into the tire. It's like that. Same way on the interior, you probably don't want to apply, but just a little bit of baby oil to your interior. It's going to repel it, the sun, dust, and all that stuff. And um, that's where you want it. But uh, yeah, guys, it gives a nice shine. Yeah. Not only the shine, like I said, I'm crazy about It's the black, the blackness of it. The blackness of the shine. I know some of you guys probably tried this. I don't know. But it comes from, this is just a family dollar baby oil, man. It costs $2. And um, something told me to try it. I said, I'll try it for you guys. Now, if you, this is for you guys who want that wet look. It's got a wet look. It smells good. It's got a very good smell to it. And um, good stuff. You got to think outside the box, man. Just think of what these companies really using to make these baby oils and tie shines out of. Is they putting baby oil in the tie shines? <laughs> it's got to be something. Some kind of petroleum base. Some uh, water base. Uh, this one here will be more closer to... I think this will be more of a petroleum base. It's got to be because it's a thick oily system, see? It's more petroleum base. Which a lot of you guys prefer to high shine, you know. Either way you look at it, water is not going to take it off that easy, you know. Because the water and oil doesn't mix. So when it rains, it's going to just repel it. Water is going to stand up on outside of the tire. It's not going to wash the oil away because it's not going to run directly onto the tire. It's just going to run right straight down. See, it's going to be hard to remove this stuff. Unless you're using some type of cleaner. So it's going to be very hydrophobic. Also. So we're going to come out and look at it from a distance. Man, I like, like I said, I like the way that pretty black look it gives. So how black it makes the tire. Compared to the back one. I know the back one ain't been hit, but. Man, get a load of this. That stuff make it nice and black. But there you have it, man. So you guys think outside the box. Um, if you're new to my channel, don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys on the next video. Peace out, guys. Hope you learned something.